Hello guys, how's it going? It's been a month uh, from my last video. Uh, but I'm back and uh, hopefully I'll have another video in, uh, in two weeks, not a month. So today it's going to be a quick video and um, I was working uh, for a client a while ago and uh, he wanted me to do a plush pillow of some sorts and that took a little bit of uh, figuring out that uh, stuff. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, a plush pillow in Q-Shot. Not the pillow, the 3D model itself, but just the fuzz knot. So we want something looking like that. Um, these are my results so far. Uh, the ones that I delivered to the client were much better. Um, but I, I played uh, in Q-Shot a little bit and uh, th this is just uh, what I came up with uh, so far. Uh, I can work on it a little bit more to make it look uh, more re realistic like this one. Um, but for tonight, I think that should be enough for now. And uh, that's about it. Let's begin. Okay, so uh, here I have a pillow that I downloaded from uh, Turbo Squid. It was free. I did not make this model. Um, so the first thing we want to do, we want to just unpause it, of course. And we want to look for this... Uh, material called silk, synthetic silk, uh, so it's a 0040 synthetic silk. If you don't have it, just get it from the cloud library. It does have, uh, or it does come with a texture that I found out is like the best one um, for our direction texture or direction map uh, when we're applying the, the, the fuzz uh, node. Uh, so I'm just going to use that. And it's this one, uh, it's called texture map, obviously it's a synthetic silk, something, something. And if you click, uh, uh, if you press C on it, uh, you go down. You can see that it's like uh, the it has the um, the static TV effect kind of thing. Uh, we want it to be larger, much larger. So let's do 500. And I think 500 is fine. Uh, as you can see, the model is uh, a little messed up here. Um, so one thing uh, that might fix it is to just like change uh, the mapping type to uh, UV. If it works, uh, scene units, and uh, it will work actually. Uh, so just change it to UV and um, you know just 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 play with the settings. So a thousand millimeters, that's too much. Uh, we're just gonna go back to 500. Um, we're gonna have to again play with this. Uh, so I'm gonna press C again. I'm gonna um, let's just keep this. Uh, that doesn't look bad actually. Uh, the way it is. Um, let's just keep it for now, and then we're going to add, uh, while you're in, the, in your material graph, you're going to want to add, uh, or right click, and then go to geometry, and then add a fuzz. Uh, and then you're going to have to change, uh, connect this to the geometry, and I'm just going to double uh, copy paste this, and then I'm going to connect this to the direction texture. Now there are a bunch of different, uh, uh, I don't know what these, these things are called, but you can, you can pick a bunch of these. And it really depends on what you want to do. Density texture, maybe you want uh, like, a, like a spot to be bald and then the other spot is just to make it hairy or something. Length texture, obviously, uh, it's just the length of your fuzz. Um, Keyshot, the Keyshot channel ha uh, on YouTube has a pretty good webinar on this. Um, so if you want to check out their channel, go ahead. Uh, it's very expensive. Uh, so we just want to, want to connect this to the direction texture and I know it's already uh, it's too high, the length is too high, so I'm just going to change it to maybe two. The radius is obviously too high as well, 0 0.01. And uh, the density, let's just do one for now. And I do want to change the randomness, so let's do 0.2. And let's see. <clears throat> okay. As you can see, the length is, again, too high. You do want it to be a little bit uh, higher than, than just like normal. Um, because of the effect that we're looking for, uh, but obviously not this high, and we do have to change the density. Let's do five, and let's see what it looks like. Uh, oh, that's still too high. Uh, let's do point seven five, and let's do twenty. I think the th thickness is fine. Um, again, the density is too much because I'm using a direction texture. It gives me like a distorted. Um, um, I guess texture. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> that's that's what I was looking for. So uh, what you want to do, you want to go to your texture map and click C on it. 
or I hit C on it. Uh, let's just do, let's disable this first. Let's go back and damn, okay. I, I thought I changed the, uh, the size. Let's, okay, so uh, 500 and this one is also 500. Okay, I guess they were just not synced together. Uh, but uh, the other thing you want to do, you want to change the, the brightness and the contrast, so it's just black and white mostly, and, uh, instead of like mostly gray that you can see here. So I'm going to change the brightness to 5 and contrast to 5 as well. Okay, that's too much, so let's do, let's do 3 and the contrast, let's do 10. Alright, so we're getting there, let's do, f okay, so 5 and 10 kind of works for me. Uh, depends on what you're doing or like what texture, texture map you're using. Uh, where that works for you. It has to be mostly black and white, like like now, instead of black, white, and gray. Um, so, okay, so let's, let's do it again. Uh, direction texture, and let's enable this. Let's run it. Okay, you can see how, how, how much more fuzz we have right now. And as you can see, we are getting the effect that we want, um, but obviously it's, it's black, uh, and we don't want it to be black. So, you can just um, connect your own material to um, the surface uh, here, or you can just like use this one, uh, the existing one. Uh, what I would like to do, I, I usually like to use the background color or just make it a little bit darker than uh, the main fuzz color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna again, copy paste this and I'm gonna connect this to Sir. Oh, okay, so <laughs> rookie mistake, rookie mistake. It needs to be uh, connected to the, the base color or, or to uh, a, a material. That was a rookie mistake. So we're just going to connect this to uh, the base color and then we're going to connect this to surface. And uh, it didn't change uh, for some reason. Let's see. Let's see what other stuff we have. If I'm uh, missing something, color might be. Is it the base color? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so I don't exactly know what the difference between surface and the color is. Um, but yeah, that's that. And uh, so I connected the, the main one, so I'm just going to replace it. And go, I'm going to go back to, to the main one. And uh, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to disable this again, because I want to I wanna look at the base color. And <clears throat> I'm going to reduce the... Brightness a little bit. See, it's it's a little darker. So this is this is better. So let's do 75. And I hope it's not they're not synced together. Okay, they they are not. Oh, I'm just gonna uh, turn that off. And we're gonna enable this again. And we're gonna turn it on. Oh man, it looks like uh wow. This this looks pretty damn cool. It looks like um those uh cypress tree leaves. Uh, they're like covered in, in, in snow. That looks pretty damn cool. I, I really like this texture. Uh, but um, the thickness is uh, it's it's too much. So we're, let's just do 0 0.007, and let's change this to 25. And let's change this to eight. All right. <clears throat> so uh, it looks more. Um, I think it needs to be. Uh, more dense. Uh, so let's do 35 instead of 25. And already does look dense. Um, so as I say in like literally every single video that I post, it depends on your project, depends on your product, depends on what you're doing. Um, and then you need to figure out what exactly you need. Uh, this radius is still too high. It's gonna do z let's do zero zero five and uh let's do point point eighty five millimeter. Okay. So remember every time you make a change you have to um you have to execute the geometry note. Um all right, this looks uh pretty decent. Let's change the randomness a little bit, let's change it to uh point five and I think the radius is still too much. So let's do point three, right? And let's do 55. And the max curves, let's do 15 million. And let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting there. And uh, this is, uh, what, 10 samples, 11 samples. Um, 
when it goes higher, it, it would look uh, more natural, more like uh, what we're looking for. Uh, I think I think it needs to be a little bit more random, actually. And I believe I believe I can fly. Uh, because it's okay, it's too much there. We go. So I, I think what we can do, I can actually make this a little bit more black and white. Um, so <clears throat> so the I guess uh, strikes or the strokes on the pillow are uh, more uh, visible. So all right, this is. Okay, this is mostly black now, um, which is fine. What we can do, we can uh, let's let's see what it looks like. Enable and all right. So let's do something. Let's add a color. Uh, can we not add a color in there? Utilities color invert and Okay, another rookie mistake which I didn't know about. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, can we make it a little bit? Um, we do want the brightness to be high. Okay, let's. That's too much. I think, uh, I think this is, I think this is decent. Um, let's also change the scale. Oh, no, not okay. okay, let's change the scale and then that's going to make it look better. And if, I think that's, this should be fine. Let's enable it and I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to run it again. <clears throat> All right, so this is going to take a while um, to load. Um, what am I looking for? Color. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to set up my scene as well. And then I'm going to render it and uh, show you the final results. Uh, but that's, <clears throat> that's basically it. Um, as you can see here, I, I, uh, the fuzz thickness is uh, still a little bit too much, the radius. So I can do two. Um, and the density should be fine. Uh, the length, um, let's, let's do 0.9, and then the randomness, let's do 0.7, and that might make it look better. But these things, you know, it's, you can never really get it absolutely perfect, because, um, you know, it's just a computer rendering, obviously. Uh, but to me, this uh, looks pretty realistic. If it wasn't a scene, it, it would have looked pretty realistic. Uh, and again, you can replace this texture or the, uh, the direction texture that I used, uh, the synthetic cell, you can change it. You can make your own in Photoshop if you want uh, uh, a, a specific streak or like a, um, like, like it, if, if, you've, if, if you know what I'm talking about, like those pillows that like, um, you know, you grab it and then you can actually see your uh, handprint on, on the pillows. So if you want to do something like that, you can. Um, Obviously, you have to make the texture map for it, uh, but <clears throat> that's basically it. Uh, it needs to be the, the fuzz thickness needs to be pretty thin. Uh, the length has to be tall uh, compared compared to uh, the radius. The density has to be high, and um, randomness also should be high, as you can see. And that's that's basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions again down in the comments. Uh, hopefully, for the next video, I'm gonna do a tie dye tutorial. Um, I had uh, I had some fun um, figuring that out. Uh, and please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. And uh, I will see you in the next video.